Now, having the opportunity to learn is one of the main reasons why people choose a certain job or remain in the company, the organization they are working for. Now, learning and development has always been quite a challenge for HR departments and uh, the COVID-19 crisis certainly didn't do any good to that. So let's hear what the, the founder and the managing director of, of the managing partner of Quality Training, one of the leading L&D uh, companies in uh, Belgium, has to say about it. So uh, welcome, Marie van den Bergen. Thank you, Anne. So first of all, I would like to know from you what exactly has been the impact of COVID-19 on uh, learning and development. So in other words, what actually changed since March 2020? Yes, in fact, I think the, the crisis has in, was an opportunity to intensify the creativity of the learning and the development of a lot of other approaches. The fact that we had to stop the face-to-face -face training has given rise to new training methods and I think that these training methods will still be applied after the crisis. Like what for instance? Online training, digital learning, blended learning and so on. Okay. I will come back on okay. all these methods uh, because they offer a lot of uh, advantages and they are highly appreciated by the learners. On the other hand, the employees had to develop some new skills such as, for example, how to create an online meeting, how to animate a successful online training, how to manage the task from home, for example, and also how to motivate the teams and so on. So there are a lot of new topics which have been developed because of this crisis. Mm -hmm. I believe that um, it has always been a challenge for companies to uh, engage their uh, people to yeah. do trainings, to do development uh, uh, sessions. Yeah. So what in fact are the biggest challenges with regard to the development of uh, people within a company, within an organization? And maybe it's, it's easy if you can give some uh, good examples to illustrate them. Yeah, the companies must continue to train and motivate their team, of course. And I think one of the biggest challenge for the managers and especially the learning and development manager is offer training that brings about real commitments. So the, it's essential to keep to keep in touch with the teams despite the distance and despite the fact that they are all alone at home. Uh, another challenge for the companies, I think, what linked to, the, to their internal trainers. Their in-house trainers had to switch from a face-to-face -face training to online training mm -hmm. almost overnight. Mm -hmm. And most of them have not been prepared to this uh, new methods. So they had to switch from one method to another one and they had to get accustomed with new tools as well, such as, for example, the virtual classrooms, uh, platforms and animation tools. So I think it was also a huge challenge for the trainers and the learning and development managers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I believe that employees have less time to be available for training, for working on their own development. So is there something that HR particularly can do in order to motivate people to, towards actually those training programs that are being uh, offered? Yes, I think it's important to involve the, the learner to offer a training with a real journey, with a before, a during and an after. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important also to save time to offer synchronous and asynchronous activities and to mix digital tools with uh, classical training, classical sessions. And I will give you an, an example. Yes, please. <laughs> that makes it always easy to understand what you really refer to. Yes, exactly. Let's start with the before. Uh, what we are doing before the training, we are sending a, a kind of survey to the, to the learners in order to ask them their expectations mm -hmm. and also what are the current challenges. So to be focused on their needs, we ask them to 
to share their experience and their expectation with us. Then we send them uh, motivational videos that clearly specify the objectives of the course. We can also introduce the trainer and we can also make them understand why the course is important for them. What's in it for me, in fact. So yes. it's important to involve the train the learner sorry before the the course it's an extra motivation so exactly and it's very important to share the objectives with mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. as well okay then so that's the first step that's the first step the before then there is an online session we are not organizing a lot of face-to-face -face sessions as you do to the crisis so the online session which is synchronous um, is very important too, but it's essential to make it interactive. So it's essential to prepare a kind of playful icebreaker, for example, in order to create a kind of group spirit. Mm -hmm. Even can you, if <laughs> can you give an example? Maybe what would be a good icebreaker? Oh, we could ask a funny question, for example. Okay. Uh, pff, yes, thanks to the tools, I will talk about the tools. But we could, yeah, just a question in order to create a, a group spirit, okay. in fact, and to, to be relaxed mm -hmm. with the group. Mm -hmm. Then it's important to um, add a lot of interaction, um, collaborations, animations during the online, during the online uh, session. Otherwise, it could quickly get boring. So the, the online session must be short, practical, and we must really plan a lot of uh, animations. Mm -hmm. This means using some digital tools, of course, such as Mentimeter, which is a very nice tool, uh, Wooklap, uh, Klaxoon, also Kahoot. There are a lot of tools that are free of charges or at least the, uh, that offers a free version. So this is a, an important point. So the short, the, the, sorry, the, the synchronous session must be short and practical. Mm -hmm. That's the same that goes for every presentation, actually. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Short and to the point and, and with a bit of humor sometimes. Exactly, exactly. And we must add fun as well, I think, mm -hmm. in, the, in the online session. And then there is the after. Yes. So after the synchronous uh, session, it's important to send a kind of mission or a kind of uh, quiz to the, to the learners and also to keep in touch with the learners. So thanks to the, to the LMS, so Learning Management System, it's really possible to create a, a real training journey, whether before, a during and an after. And during the whole journey, there is a human, a human, a coach, a digital coach who is available for the learners to answer the, the questions or to push them to follow the digital module, for example. So this is called the blended learning, in fact, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, it so works and, very and well. What has been your experience in doing this the way you just described? What are the reactions? What are the, the what, do they see their own development and, and what is their response to the final result. The fact that we had a lot of animation and fun and quiz and so on is very impactful because after the course some of them come back to us with the result of the game we have sent or the result of the quiz or the result on their life in fact. Mm -hmm. I will give you some example uh, as well, some real training journey that we have organized mm -hmm, yeah so what, what is an example for instance I, I will show you okay <laughs> so I would like to talk about a specific training journey that you will see okay in the on the PowerPoint presentation so this is a summary of the blended learning mm -hmm. and we have created a, a training journey focused on outlook and especially on the mail management that is called Inbox Zero. Okay. Uh, it's a dream for, <laughs> for most of us, Inbox Zero. And for the training journey, we start with a survey. So we, we have sent a survey to the learners, asking them their challenge, their challenges, sorry, and their expectations about the course. So that means that we involve the learners before upstream of the, the course. Then we send them uh, motivational videos with the objectives of the course that are linked to 
the result of the survey, of course, so we focus on their needs. We introduce the trainer to the learners and also we explain the tips, uh, the steps, sorry, of their journey. Then we organize a module, a digital module, so they can enjoy a digital module with eight videos, quizzes, quick cards and games. Mm -hmm. This is asynchronous, so it's very flexible because they can work whenever they want mm. and whenever they're available to exactly do so. okay. and that's really really flexible then we have organized and we still organize a synchronous session with additional content interaction and exercises in subgroups to push the collaboration between the learners which is not easy if each learner is working from home so thanks to mm -hmm. the collaboration it works very well. And then we suggest some additional tips, mission, and we organize one extra question and answer session where the learner can share their experience and learn new tip. This is a typical journey yes. uh, linked to um, an MS Office uh, mm -hmm. course. And I have another example. Yes, please. <laughs> Um, because uh, we are working a lot with Sephora. Mm -hmm. Sephora is uh, one of the biggest actors in the learning world. And they have created what is called Sephora Learning Experience, which is close to the concept that I've just uh, explained. But the impact is higher, I think. So let me show you the training journey. There was a first step where the learner received a presentation of the course and then we ask them to share the database. It's a, a journey linked to an Excel pivot table database. That could be a nightmare as well. <laughs> Excel is not always easy, but thanks to this journey, it's really, really easy and impactful. So the learner can share their file on the, via the LMS Mm -hmm. And the impact is very high because thanks to this sharing, we are going to work on their own file during the synchronous session, which means that when they will leave the course, they will have a real solution to their challenge with the file. Okay. During the synchronous session, we push the collaboration. So there are a lot of exercises that have been made in subgroups. So we can create a team spirit and a group spirit thanks to this step. And then between two synchronous sessions, we suggest a general exercise that they can make individually. So they can make the exercise whenever they want and wherever they want. So it's an asynchronous session. Okay. Then we organize a second synchronous session online of course, very short, maximum three hours, where they can learn some new and extra contents and when and during this session they can also share experience with the other learners. And after this synchronous session we suggest a kind of mission. They can download the user's guide and they can also receive additional tip via the LMS. So you see it's a real training journey yes, with a mix indeed. of... <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take in, in all? This, this uh, for this journey, journey, we have planned three, two months. Sorry, okay. two months, mm -hmm. yeah. So between the synchronous session, asynchronous sessions, question answers, and during the whole journey, there is a coach available to support the, the learners, of yes. course. Something I would like to ask also is you were referring to the expectations as being one of the first steps to be taken. Now, uh, we see that on uh, the workflow, uh, millennials and Generation Z workers are almost half of the workforce today. Uh, they have their expectations and I believe they're not always the same as the expectations of their co-workers. So that again is another challenge for L&D managers, how to 
control all of this and how to put this all together, different expectations from different generations. Do you have any recommendations on, on that point? Yes, I agree with you. But you see, the Z generation is also called the 4C generation. Mm. So C for communication, collaboration, connection, and creativity. And that's exactly what I was talking about. In fact, the blended learning is, I think, an ideal solution for the multi-generation workforce. Okay. Communication upstream of the training, connection via the digital tools and the digital models, and then creativity, thanks to the mix of synchronous, synchronous and asynchronous uh, sessions. And also, I, f I forgot the fourth one, but the four C are linked to the blended learning. So I mm -hmm. think the blended learning meets the needs of every generation. Okay. And we have an experience about it. So I think as a wrap up, uh, concerning learning and development in these uncertain times of COVID and the post-COVID uh, period, of course, what are key messages to, to remember? What are the main uh, key messages to, to retain? I would say behind each computer, there is a, a human. And human being needs to have fun from time to time. Human being needs to be taken into account. Human being needs to collaborate with each other. Uh, human beings need to achieve some objectives. So I must say, let's be learner-centric and we will create amazing and impactful training despite the COVID-19. So if we have to remember two words, I would say learn, learner-centric. That's learner -centric. the secret. <laughs> okay. Yes. And trying to have fun. Yes, <laughs> anyway. yes, that's okay. essential. I think that's a, a beautiful phrase to end on. Thank you very much, Marie van den Berg, Thank you, for Anne. sharing your visions on learning and development and the challenges that managers in that department are having to face. So uh, I believe it's time for another break, ladies and gentlemen. So this is your moment to maybe relax a bit, uh, grab something to drink and of course the opportunity to uh, learn more about new HR solutions by going to uh, the special partners meetup area that we've designed for you. And of course, if you want to know who is attending this HR uh, Leadership Summit at this very moment, well, you have the opportunity to uh, connect with them, get to know the other attendees, the other peers from uh, other organizations by going through our networking plaza. 